Larry, let's focus in on central air conditioning maintenance and some tips for what a homeowner can do before we get into what a professional will do. From a homeowner's perspective, the first thing is obviously being able to keep free air opening around the unit. In the case we have here is the bushes. They're going to gradually creep in and start to plug off airflow. It's important for the homeowner that keeps these trim back generally between 12 to 15 inches away from the unit so that we have good airflow through the unit. It's very important that we have free flow of air to be able to dissipate that heat from this unit away from the house. Okay, that makes sense. And that's regardless of the location on the building, whether it's on the south, north, east, west side, make sure you don't have plants growing all over it mm -hmm. and really in close proximity, mm -hmm. keep it free. What about washing it off? You know, I've heard that you could wash off the condensing unit out here and that would be good for the system. Yeah, it can be washed off. The important thing is, is that we do not use a pressure sprayer because that can actually damage the coils. What they would want to do is if they see some lint or some dandelion fuzz on there, they can take a, a regular water hose, spray it down to be able to wash that off periodically throughout the summer. What we definitely do not want to do is some people, unfortunately, will take a pressure washer. And when they do that, they'll actually do damage to the fins and then in turn, that's gonna really create some harm to the unit. So we wanna stay away from pressure washing them at all. And again, this is gonna keep it operating at its peak efficiency. So a little preventative maintenance here can go a long way to adding to the longevity of the system. Yep. Okay, what else can a homeowner do? Anything else on the outside? Well, a couple things, a big thing is depending on location for the winter time, we wanna make sure that we're not gonna have ice falling on it or anything like that. If that's the case, they would wanna put a little cover on it for the winter months but it obviously needs to be removed before they put it into operation in the springtime. We don't recommend that it's sealed all the way to the bottom because you do have to have some ventilation to allow the moisture that does collect to be able to evaporate off. Okay, that's some good tips for on the outside of the house. What about on the inside? Anything a homeowner should be doing? Biggest thing indoors is filter replacement. They have to be religious about going in and maintaining the filter clean so that our A coil stays clean during operation, especially if they're the one inch throwaways. Those need to be clean, cleaned or replaced periodically in roughly the four to six week intervals, depending on how cleanly the house is. The other thing is, is transition from winter to summer months. If your home is equipped with high-low returns, what we would want to do is to close off the lower returns, the lows, so that we can take that hot air off the ceiling, which is going to really allow the homeowner to see the best performance of their system and quickly cool the home down. Really makes sense to me. A little maintenance can go a long way in the peak efficiency, not to mention the indoor air quality and the comfort of the home. Now, what about from a professional standpoint? Even though the homeowner can do some maintenance, mm -hmm. is it important to have a contractor come out on a regular basis and clean their central air conditioning system? It's a very good idea to have it done annually or semi-annually. Uh, there's electrical components inside that they can actually inspect and diagnose early. A contactor after a while can start to pit. And if that condition continues, it can actually cause compressor failures. So as a maintenance item, that's one thing that the contractors will take care of. The other thing they will do is a more thorough cleaning of the coil, typically with a chemical spray, and then in turn rinse it down, which really gets a lot of the other particles off of the fins in between. A homeowner can spray it off on the outside like we discussed, but from the standpoint of a thorough cleaning, we would really like a professional to be able to do that. Will they also clean the A-coil inside the plenum of the furnace? Yeah, indoors is the other side of the coin where we really want to have that A-coil, which in the summertime is going to be wet. It's going to collect particles. They will come in with a chemical spray that actually is a coil cleaner designed for that, that they'll spray on the coil, allow it to operate, and in turn, wash all of the debris off the coil, and the condensate pan will be cleaned at that point. Boy, that would really make sense to me because if you're removing all those indoor air pollutants that have collected on the A-coil, it's less likely to be blown throughout the house. And if I suffer from asthma or allergens, that right there can make a world of difference in the indoor air quality. Yeah, the indoor air quality is gonna be key. Keeping that clean, it's really gonna improve it. The other thing that that does is increase the overall efficiency of the system. A very small collection of dust and dirt on that coil will greatly increase the amount of time the system has to run to still cool the home. That really makes sense from a maintenance standpoint. What happens if I get through the winter, it's starting to get warm out, I turn on my central air conditioning unit and it doesn't turn on. Before I call a professional, is there anything a homeowner can go and inspect? Great question. Well, we talked about covering it. The first thing that happens a lot, people sometimes forget to take the cover off. So it's not gonna operate. The other thing is, is that they actually turn the thermostat to cool and then in turn, the other thing would be to check out, did the circuit breaker trip? Did they shut it off in fall? Forget to turn it back on in spring? 
And if the condenser unit is equipped with a fuse disconnect, they can also double check the fuses in there. And that's, of course, if a homeowner feels comfortable doing any of those aspects, but especially lifting off something as simple as lifting off a cover or making sure your thermostat is set to cool inside makes total sense. But again, all this maintenance, whether it's done by the homeowner or a professional, is to add to the longevity of the system, the peak efficiency. To me, it seems like it's an investment and you're getting a return on your investment through lower utility bills by keeping it operating at its peak efficiency. Yep. What it'll do is really allow the efficiencies to be there. It's also going to give them mechanical longevity by having it checked by a professional. And finally, Larry, can I have both my furnace and my air conditioner checked at the same time? It, you can, as long as it's warm enough out, and that's the critical thing. We need to have it at least 50 to 60 degrees outside, and we would like to warm the house up. That way we can do a full test on if the condensing unit is doing a good job in cooling the space. We will then be able to check that and do the cleaning, and in turn be able to go inside and take care of all of the furnace aspects as well, so that it's going to be ready again for the fall heating season.